It's a stitch fix day and I did something that I don't normally do. I peeked and so I know what's in this box and if you want to find out what's in this box, stick around. Hey, hey divas, welcome to my channel, Dress Like You Mean It, where I do unboxings and shopping hauls and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And if that sounds like your idea of a good time, then I invite you to hit that subscribe button and definitely hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my fun adventures. Cheers! All right, let's see what's in here. Now, if you're not familiar with Stitch Fix, it is a styling service. Um, and I have come up with five fast facts about Stitch Fix. Um, they send you five items, and they, they can be clothes, it can be shoes, it can be purses, it can be jewelry, it can be accessories. And let's see, what else? Um, let me look at my list so I don't forget. Fee. It's a $20 styling fee if you pay by the month. Now they may offer you a $49 annual fee, either the $20 monthly fee or the $49 annual fee is taken off of anything that you purchase. So if you purchase by the month, um, then you have to purchase, if you get your box by the month, then you would have to purchase something for at least $20 to not lose your styling fee. You keep what you love, you send back what you don't, you can exchange for different sizes. Let's see, what else? Um, frequency is up to you. Um, I get mine monthly. You can get it as frequent as every two or three weeks, or you can get it on demand. <clears throat> if you have a Fabulous Five, um, if you like all five items and want to keep them, they will give you a 25% discount and they have very easy returns all right so they send you a mailer so you just pop it in there and you can drop it off at the post office or you can have the post office come pick it up and let's see they I'm not sure what that is. they send you um so there's the price list which I'm not going to look at just yet and then they also send you this note from your stylist and I've still got Cynthia she does a great job for me and they send you these style cards so that if you need ideas on how to style things they will do that for you so let's see the note hey Andrea happy fix day how are you I am thrilled as always to style you today and I can't wait to see what you think of fix number eight it's actually fix number seven because Fix number six got lost. Let's dive in. Unfortunately, I have made some requests. Unfortunately, I still haven't been able to find a white cable knit sweater for you, but I will keep my eyes out for next time. In its place today, I added a nice comfy Market and Spruce waffle knit pullover for easy casual wear. I also included a burgundy sweater by Letty and Me, similar to the gray one you loved in August, but with a little different detailing. I remember how great that sweater fit you in the unboxing, and that you were open to colors in that style. What do you think? For a nice holiday look, pair the Liverpool textured trousers with the West Key surplus blouse and your favorite accessories. I can't wait to see what you think. Stay well, yours in style, Cynthia. All right, Cynthia does a good job. Right, here is my bundle. Let's see, we've got pretty purple color um, that it looks like a, a Kind of a burgundy and a little bit of black and is that navy i can't tell and then purple down there too so when i say that i peaked when they send you your fix you can go in and act like you're going to check out and then you'll be able to see what they say so i knew all these things were coming let's get to it i love i love the bundle Okay, so here is the first thing. This is the 
Key West surplus roll tab, roll tab high low blouse in dark purple and a small boutique. And let's see. It, it feels like it's polyester. I'll check that in a second. It's got the roll tab um, sleeves, which I know some people don't like, but I don't mind them at all. So, um, and it's just, it's gathered. It's not rolled up. It's got, it's got the um, little stitching there, little modesty stitching there. And then it is that surplus and it kind of is gathered there. And then in the back, it has that pleating. All right, let's see what it is made of. It is 100% polyester and it feels like it's polyester. So it's a very pretty color. So I'm anxious to try that on. Okay, so this is the Azalea Keyhole Pointel Detail Sweater, burgundy, size small. <clears throat> and I got this in gray with a slightly different detailing. Um, so it's got like these metal eyelets and, and the crisscross, and then it's got the lace detailing, the three quarter inch sleeves, and the lace detailing at the bottom and the back is just <coughs> plank. So this is a pretty color. I actually like it more than I thought I was going to. <coughs> and it is made of 100% round. Back sleeves, 79% round, 21 polyester. I'm not sure why the back sleeves would be made of something different, but that's pretty. <clears throat> I really like the color, and it is very soft, and I love, so I'm a sucker for soft. All right, third top. So this is made by Market and Spruce, and it is the Tawny Cotton Blend Waffle Knit Pullover in navy in a small petite. So it's navy and then got a band of, that's mostly white and then kind of a combination of the two. So I like that. It's, um, it's not super soft, but it's pretty soft. And it's got just a little bit of ribbing at the cuff. Can you see the texture? And just a crew neck. Let's see what this is made of. 60% cotton, 40% polyester. Sorry, not sure what that was. No, one of my reminders. Camera's acting a little funny, so. All right, <clears throat> this is a cargo jacket. And it is the Holly Contrast Hood Cargo Jacket in dark purple. Um, so it's got a zipper and snaps, pockets, got a hood, and it's a very pretty color. I'm not much of a cargo jacket girl. Um, this is one's very pretty though, and I actually, I mean it is winter, it is December, um, so this would probably be way too light, but it might be really good for the spring. So. We will try that on and see how that goes. <clears throat> so I have a bunch of credit because last time they gave me a hundred dollar credit referral and I had um, several people sign up and so I'm pretty excited that um, I have so much money to spend. All right, last item. These are the Tyler straight leg textured trouser, black in size four, um, by Liverpool. I have a couple pair of Liverpool pants and I like them a lot. Um, so, can you see, yeah, this texture in them. And they are a pull-on. So, they do have some shallow pockets in the back. Um, and pockets in the front, which is interesting that they're full on, but they still have 
bunch of the pockets. So I will try those on as well. All right, let's get to the try on. First, I'll show you my outfit of the day, which is, it is a Saturday, so it is a comfy, cozy, loungy type of outfit. So today I am wearing a pink, fuzzy, kind of waffle, um, waffle texture. I guess this is a surplus top too. And I got this from Nordstrom Rack. It's really soft and cozy. And then on the bottom, I am wearing some purple joggers that I got from Old Navy and my trusty Uggs. So. And this necklace, it's a, a ruby that I got in Mexico. So you can see the texture of the sweater. And it's this very pretty pink color. And then the joggers have pockets. And they're joggers. They're just, they're weekend wear. All right, let's get to this try on. Outfit number one is the top, the surplus top and the pants. And then I've also got on those um, White House Black Market boots that I told you about in, in that uh, video that were from my Black Friday haul. <clears throat> now let me come up closer so you can see the top better. I, I do not feel like this is a flattering look. It, it just isn't a flattering look. Um, the back is, is lo longer than the front. So I've got the roll top sleeve and the surplus. I just don't feel like it, it's a flattering look. It just feels, it feels kind of baggy. And this is a small petite, I'm pretty sure. I remember seeing the pants, and I don't think you're gonna be able to see this in the camera, but they, they kind of bunch funny right here. Um, I did size down, I had been a size six, and I went down to a four, and um, I mean, they, they feel okay, but they just, I think it's just the way they're made, there's just kind of a funny look there. So, this is the back. And then let me pan down so you can see these gorgeous blue boots. So, they're on the side, they have this black kind of stretchy, and they're that kind of crocodile embossed. And I'll take them off and, and give you a better look. All right, so I'm afraid these are both going to be no's. So I will try on um, this top next, and I'll be right back. So the next top is the, I think it's called the Letty and Me, and um, they, the arms seem uneven. Okay, so let me come up closer so you can see the color and the detail and I do I do kind of like this with the lace and the crisscross is it me or is this this arm is like way is it just the way I'm wearing it maybe it's just anyway so a weird thing about this top it's got the lace here too and you can't see it because I have on black pants but the front of this top, I can't tell if you can see that. The front of the top comes down lower than the back, which I think makes it look a little odd. And I'm not sure if you can see that, but um, you know, this is this is where it comes down in the front, and it's up here on the back. So. Now my husband thought that this would look good with a, a belt, so let's see, I got grab the belt, and I agree with him. I just, I think that that looks nice. I just find this weird. I find this because it's usually the opposite. It's usually longer in the back, and to me that looks a little little weird. What do you think? Do you think that that looks weird?
Can you see it? I'm not even sure if you can see it. I was going to film in my bedroom just to see if there was better lighting, and then I remembered that I would have to drag this in here. That wouldn't work well. So I just paired it with some heels that are burgundy that I got from White House Black Market a number of years ago. I I don't know. I like the top, but the, the longer front is kind of bugging me. All right, let's, oh, let me show you these shoes up close, these boots, because I just am in love with this color. So they've got a nice pointy toe, they've got the crocodile embossed, and that's the heel. So very happy with those. All right, let's sit, try, oh, you know what I'm gonna try is the jacket. So it's stretchy and it's got the drawstring there. It um, doesn't have any pockets. Let's zip it up. It's a very pretty color. It, the arms are, are pretty long, you can see. So no no pockets from the side so it has that kind of a, a rounded hem there long arms i might have to hem them or something because those are quite long um what do you think of this it's a real i just love the color i am just really crushing on this color this is what it looks like from the back. I'll have to show it to my husband and see what he thinks. In the meantime, I'll try this other top. So this is the third top, and I like this. It's comfortable, it's soft, it's, I like the stripes. Um, I just paired it with a pair of Seven for All Mankind jeans and some new leopard print shoes that I got. So let me come up closer so you can see. And I just, I like it. It's, it's comfortable and I think it looks good. I think, you know, it hugs my body nicely and I like how the stripes all line up. I'm a little compulsive about that. And this is from the side, from the back. And I'm going to pan down so you can see these shoes. So they are, they are a low heel. They've got, the back is a patent leather. And they're just, they're cute. All right, let's do a recap. All right, let's see what the damage is. This is the pricing sheet. And... The Stylus Picks subtotal was $320. The buy-all discount is 25% at $80 off, which brings it down to $240. And like I said, I have a, a fair amount of credit right now. What, this is the Market and Spruce Tawny Cotton Blend Waffle in Navy at $468. I am definitely going to keep this. I like this. I, I'm a sucker for blue and it feels comfortable. And you are probably going to see it in my next video because today, in addition to getting my stitch fix, I got my first fashion box. And then I'll be doing that video as soon as I'm done with this one. All right, so this is a keeper. This is the key, let's see, which one is it? The West Key. Allen surplus roll top high low blouse. This is forty dollars. I am not going to keep this because it just it was not flattering on me. It just did not was not a good look. So it's also very light, and this time of year I probably wouldn't wear it that much. All right, and this is the Letty Letty and Me. Azalea Keyhole Pointel Detail Sweater. This is $42, and 
I'm on the fence about this, you know, and you can see how the front is longer than the back. And that, I mean, it's by a lot. It's when you hold it up like this, you can see that it's several inches. And that just kind of bugs me. I know it's silly, it's a pretty color, but I think that detail is, I'll, I'll always be thinking about it. So the pants are gonna go back because, and these were the Liverpool Tyler straight leg texture trouser for $92. They just bunched up funny, and it was not a good look. So for $98, $92, something has to fit pretty darn perfect. Now, the, this surprised me. And as far as peaking, I do not think I'm going to peak again next time. I, it, was, it was kind of fun those times when, you know, I was a total surprise when I opened the box like a present. So I do not think I will peak again. The, let's see. Holly Contrast Hood Cargo Jacket is $78, and I think I'm going to keep this, um, which surprises me because when I saw it, like I said, I'm not much of a cargo jacket girl, but I think it's going to be a great weight for uh, warmer weather, and I don't have anything like that. It is a fall color as opposed to spring, but I'm not about following the fashion rules, so I think I'm going to go ahead and keep that, and I'm going to hem the... Hem the Leaves. So I'm going to keep two things, the, the jacket for 78 and this waffle for 68. So I, I'm choosing two of the more expensive items, but I have that credit. I also have something in my bag on the, uh, on the app, a pair of pants. And yeah, so I think this was a good fix. I, you know, I think they were good choices, and, um, you know, if I keep two things, I'm, I'm super happy. So, I hope that you all are staying safe and preparing, enjoying preparing for the holidays, and I hope you, whatever holidays you celebrate, I hope you have happy, joyous time this year. This is going to be an unusual year for sure, but... Hopefully 2021 is looking better. So, cheers. Until next time, remember to dress like you mean it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I always forget this. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe notification bell. Leaving comments helps so much with the uh, YouTube algorithm. So if you could do that, that would be awesome. And again, until next time, dress like you mean it.